considering getting a Janetta. This is what they basically are like, in my experience. Very curious. <clears throat> Definitely little explorers. A big cat and a little cat's body. His um, the favorite toy right now <clears throat> is the rug itself. <laughs> All the other toys are over there. But Actually, I haven't had any furniture damage. You know, I've got some nice couches here and stuff. Um, I don't care too much about that runner. And so it works out okay. But I can't say that this is not, you know, a destructive type of cat. Um, I, I think I've just been lucky that she's just kind of pretty selective and seems to know the value of things and, and, and won't do this to anything that is valuable. Just this old runner primarily and a couple other things around here. I do keep a scratching post right here on the couch. But her favorite thing is to go up on those rocks there or the bricks outside. Or some, uh, you know, rough on lumber. That's her favorite thing to keep her paws, uh, her claws sharp. And the, she'll start running around here. Um, it's about 8 in the morning. And then she's going to continue to run around for probably two or three hours. Hi, girl. You sure are cute and sweet. Very friendly. Always at my side. I'll go to, you know, go out in the kitchen after my little breakfast here, and she'll follow me right in. She actually just followed me into the bathroom. So she's a real sweetheart. And uh, she's always just moving around. You know, I did have to put my flute up there to keep it out of harm's way. But it's just an expensive flute. She can play with that zipper. That's fine. Hi. Come here, girl. Come here. Come here. Come here. You little sweetheart. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Very, very sweet kitten. Very sweet. Purring. And a happy cat. Yesterday she had a long day visiting my mother's cat, who is about her size, a little bigger. Um, male tabby that looks a lot like her. They actually are almost twins. Of course, it's not a munchkin, it's a regular sized cat. And uh, he's a little tough on her, but, you know, she's adaptable. And she just wanted to play, and he wanted to batter around with his longer paws and legs. But she was fine with that. She just wanted to play and kind of put up with it, as long as she got a little bit of socialization in, and she appreciated that. So and she's very social. <clears throat> and then I'll give her a big play session. What I have right now is um, a fishing rod. And at the fishing rod, on the end of the fishing rod, I have a, you know, a little play feather. And I'll cast that right across this room. She loves that. I think it's the best cat toy of all. I also have a little electronic mouse. And um, I have a robotic dog, uh, Sony Ibo. So we're going to play with that also. But she doesn't need it, you know. She's pretty content on her own, as you can tell. <laughs> Making up her own little world. That's probably her favorite toy to play with alone. It's endless hours. Please. 